Today I'm looking at this tricopter frame. It's temporarily called the Tri 280 because the front arms are 280 millimeters apart. But it has carbon fiber arms. It looks like they're carbon, or, uh, carbon fiberglass plates in the middle. It has a uh, 3D printed yaw mechanism. Again, this one has the two as a bottom plate on the bottom and a middle plate to help hold the arms in place and an upper plate. And it looks like it has a hole back here for a possible antenna to be mounted there. Up here on the front, it has a couple of posts to help hold your camera in place. Or you can put the camera behind it and mount it right to these posts. Or you can put it up, put the posts out a little further and, you know, just do, do your camera set up a little differently if you wanted to. This is, uh, it looks like it's pretty well built. It, they uh, include a power distribution board inside uh, for you to use if you want to. You don't have to use that one. You can, you know, make your own if you wanted to. But the uh, 3D printed yaw mechanism on the back, it glues on to here, onto the rear uh, arm. And then it has uh, three spots, there we go, three spots for um, zip ties to go in to help hold it all together. These two would help hold it onto the arm. This one would go up and around to hold the servo in here a little tighter. The first thing we're going to look at are the uh, dimensions of the arms. And I got this teared out, don't I? It's zeroed out. Yeah, they're zeroed out. Go ahead and open it up, put it on here, and coming in right around three millimeters. Uh, let's check this one. Right around three millimeters. And let's check this one. Again, right around three. Let's see what this top plate is. One and a half millimeters, spot on. Middle plates, one and a half. And the lower plate is one six seven one and a half anyway the middle plates seem to be one and a half the arms are three that's good for for strength and crashes the scales turn on the grams and zeroed out go ahead and weigh this and it looks like it's coming in right around 145.2 that's not too bad one of the biggest competitors in the tricopter frames is the simple copter frame this one here is um, just made of you know purely of wood with some screws and if I go ahead and measure how much this one weighs or weigh it, it comes in about 102.8. So this one's actually a little bit lighter, but this one doesn't offer protection on the top for your electronics. And it also does not include a power distribution board. But when you look, watch the instructions on how he says to make this, he doesn't want you to use a power distribution board. He wants you to just make a wiring harness and wire all your wires together. Just for a couple other weight comparisons, here's an FPV 250 frame. It has a little cage on the top, and I'm going to go ahead and weigh it real quick. I have another video about this. It comes in at 107.6, 107.7, something like that. Also, I have this Diatone number 17 frame. And let's see how, how it comes out at. It comes out around 189.0 grams. So, the uh, other frames aren't too far off from this. So here's the simple copter frame, and I'll just lay this one right up on top of it and line up this side fairly close. And if we do some adjusting here real quick, we can tell that this one, that the Tri-280 is a little bit uh, wider on the front arms than the simple copter. Now, and if you look at the front, you can also see the front sticks out a little bit further on the uh, Tri-280 here. And that's just because the arms on this one are going a little bit more angled out, whereas the simple copters are a little bit more angled forward. So let's line these, these front motors back up again, and we'll see how far back the uh, rear uh, servos go, or the rear motor is. You can tell here the rear platform here is a little bit further back than the pivot, pivot mechanism here. That'll just put the motor back, but up here you're going to have the servo up on top controlling it from behind and it will plug right into the 3D printed mechanism there and on the simple copter the servo mechanism is on the bottom instead of up on the top and it has a little wire that comes up to control it. So here's my fully assembled simple copter including the camera for recording. This is just a GoPro. It's one of the new $130 GoPros, and I'll have links for that in the description because this thing is awesome. I'm actually really surprised on how nice this camera looks, and uh, I have another video up showing where I was actually flying it around and recording it. Anyway, on this one, I'm using Sunny Sky 2204 uh, motors. You can kind of see that maybe. 
2204 motors. And on this new one, I'm going to be using the new Sunny Sky 2207 motors. The 2207 motors um, will draw about 18 amps of of uh, juice on a 3S battery, I believe, with six inch propellers. I'm gonna be running this on 4S, so it's gonna hopefully be a lot more zippy than the 2204s over here. The 2207 Sunny Skies are actually, were actually put out by Sunny Sky to compete with the Cobra 2208s because they kinda of had their the go of the market for a while because they were the only competitor out there that really ran on 4S, you know, Cobra was. Anyway, these, the new 2207s are actually going to be supported to run on 4S and 3S. But you gotta have 20 amp speed controllers. This one here has 10 amp speed controllers. Overall, I'm really excited about this frame. It'll be the first carbon fiber tricopter frame I've tried. And I think it's gonna have some distinct advantages over my previous tricopters in that it's gonna have the tw Sunny Sky 2207 motors, uh, 20 amp speed controllers. So that's gonna be a lot of things that used to be inside here, the speed controllers I'm talking about, and they are going to be moved out to the arms. So you don't need quite as large of a body. And I think by having a larger body, it'll create less drag as it's going through the air, which will be you know, to its advantage. Also, the uh, having the servo mounted up here directly to the drivetrain, or to the pivot uh, pad here, pivot mount, it should help in creating less play in the uh, rear servo. Although when you're going fast, it really doesn't make too big of a difference. But when you're hovering, you'll kind of get a little bit of a little bit of a tail wagon in, in the wind or something. But overall, it's not not really that bad. The other thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be trying the CC3D for the first time ever, and I'm going to mount it back here on near these uh, pegs here that are designed for it. And it's going to have a camera, a FPV camera that mounts up in the front, and the uh, video transmitter will mount up to the top and have the uh, antenna corner mount up straight up out the top of it and this will help provide a little bit more protection to your uh, to your connector between uh, your antenna connector to your board because I see quite a lot of those going for sale on uh, RC groups and uh, having the power distribution board included is actually a pretty nice feature as well um, and I'm going to be running this off of 4S since it has the bigger motors and bigger speed controllers so it should have a lot more strength to it and a lot more <laughs> impressiveness to it when I fly it around my friends. Anyway, this is an awesome frame. Temporarily, it's being called the Tri-280. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comments section. I'll try to answer them as best I can. Also, I'll put links to the build video for this Tricopter to where you can see it actually being put together. Don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to be putting this together later and flying it around and showing you how the 2207 Sunny Skies work with 20 amp speed controllers on this Tricopter. And boy, it's going to be fast. And I am excited. Thanks for watching.